Hi everybody, this is Mike Parker, the voice of the Beavers, and welcome to the Orange Perspective Game Week Edition. We'll have six of these special episodes coinciding with each home game in the 2013 season. Up first, a look back at the last time Eastern Washington came to town, as I'm sure it's not lost upon Beaver Nation. Two of the greatest seasons in Oregon State football history have coincided with Eastern Washington up first on the schedule. In 2000, as I'm sure you recall, the Beavers hung on to beat the Eagles 21 to 19. Hardly a harbinger of the type of dominance the Beavers would show throughout that year. But one of the great seasons in Oregon State football was launched against Eastern Washington in 2000. Now, seven years ago to the date, August 31st, 2006, the last time Eastern Washington came to town, the Beavers did dominate that game, winning 56-17. Evanson Bernard rushed for 124 yards. Matt Moore and Sean Canfield both played very well and productively. And on the defensive side of the ball, a young man named Alan Darlin made his first career start at middle linebacker. He had four tackles, and the Beavers rolled through Eastern seven years ago. Allen is now a graduate assistant on the Oregon State football staff, and we had a chance to sit down with Allen and talk to him about what he recalls from that 2006 game and the great 10-win season that was to follow. Handoff, running left, and oh, Gerard Lawson unloads on Jesse Hoffman. I am the former Beaver, hit by Dog and an awful lava, and down he goes. Number one, baby, defense is back. Giving up nothing, taking the ball away all day long. It was a lot of fun. You know, first game that I got got to start, Coach Bray started over me for uh, two seasons, and he was just impossible to get off that field. He wanted to play every snap, so so it was, there were some nerves, and it was exciting. And first uh, game that a really special defense uh, got to play together. Uh, it's always nice. The first game of the season, and you get to play an opponent and take all that aggression that you've been working up during camp out on a, on someone else. If I remember correctly, we, we won pretty convincingly and it was good. It was a good confidence booster and then, and then we went to Boise and took our lumps and took our lumps for a few more games. But I always remember it being the uh, Washington State game and we also lost that game. But that was for our defense, that was a a big step in the right direction. We played really well. We had uh, quite a few turnovers and some plays not go our way offensively, but defensively, I think that's where we really came into our own and, and from there took off. I always had the feeling that when I was done playing, I'd like to coach at what level, you know, I wasn't sure and I was lucky enough to be given the opportunity by Coach Riley. And I had a nice transition period where I was still going to school because I didn't, uh, I didn't redshirt. So I was still finishing my degree once my eligibility was up. And that kind of allowed me to get my, get my toes wet and see what it was really like. And uh, it is a lot, of, a lot of work and sweat goes into it. But uh, you know, when you come to work and it doesn't feel like work, it's, it's a great day. So we're lucky. What I'm really excited about is, is the energy and the chemistry that the guys have, have played with throughout camp so far. On both sides of the ball, I think, I think we look really strong and I think you'll see guys flying around to the ball, effort, uh, you know, we take pride in stopping the run game and uh, not giving up deep balls. So that's our philosophy and our guys buy into it and we've been doing a great job all camp and Coach Riley always says that we have to live in a capsule. and. This week our capsule is Eastern Washington and we need to focus on them, take them seriously. They're a very good team, a lot of good players and we'll be ready to play when Saturday comes. Well, as you can see, Alan Darlin and all of us are very excited about the start of the 2013 season. If you don't have your season tickets yet and the season is just days away, be sure to go to beavertickets.com and make sure you don't miss a minute of the exciting action coming here in 2013. We'll see you again on another edition of Orange Perspective and see you August 31st right here at Reeser Stadium. Go Beavs!